pan 65 lat? Uh, fuck. Yeah, I have. Mum. 65 years, Tuka? Well, I have Gufuka. Momentric, momentric. No, 65 years, you have? No. Ah, uh, nie. Uh, yeah. Ale, ale. Uh, muszę jechać do Gdynia za 10 minuta. Um, okay. Będę musieć um, kawę, kawę, tylko kawę i mleko. Mleko. Czerwone mleko. Uh, Mogę być? Aha, kawę, zwykłą kawę i zwykłe mleko, czy z ekspresu uh, kawę? Nie, nie, nie. Uh, normalne. Dobra, dobra. Uh, th th dziękuję, dziękuję bardzo. A number of weeks ago now, I felt I had to take the issue of the current crisis seriously because I am a business owner, I have staff, they were coming regularly, routinely to the office, and uh, yeah, I just felt that I had to be responsible, <laughs> park my prejudices to one side, and you know, really take a little bit of a detached and clinical, even surgical view of the current situation. Where's the lawyers? Where are the judges in this, as far as this uh, situation, this, this crisis is concerned? Where is a, a legal view being expressed, a cool-headed, you know, a neutral, long-term view, not just a knee-jerk view, um, and with the one notable exception, uh, Lord Sumption, pretty much all the, the, the lawyers in the land and the judges in the land, as far as I can tell, certainly three weeks ago when I was looking at this, uh, have kept a rather deafening silence on the topic. And yet what could be um, more useful? You know, goodness gracious, where's a lawyer when you actually need one? I um, want to approach this issue from the perspective of a lawyer, a good old jobbing lawyer. I'm not a millionaire lawyer, I'm not a, a, a blue circle lawyer, but I have got uh, real experience in the trenches of evaluating evidence and um, eyeballing the facts and arriving at uh, an opinion and advice on the strengths and weaknesses of my cases. Like a good lawyer, I've, I've burnt the candle. I've got up at uh, stupid o'clock to have a look at statistics from, you know, east and west. And I've embarked upon what I often have to embark upon as a lawyer, an examination of a completely fresh area, uh, a fresh topic and subject area, uh, but one that I feel I'm reasonably well equipped if I do flatter myself to apply my critical thinking to. And above all, during that time, I wanted to suspend my prejudices and to construct arguments on both sides of the um, fence, if you like. Here I am in Warsaw Central Station, which as you can see, is on a, a beautiful spring day, Saturday lunchtime, uh, rather, Empty. So I thought the best way of approaching this was, you know, to become a government advisor. It's my new job for purposes of this vlog and to put myself in the position that the government was faced with. And I'm talking about the UK government because I think actually the UK government is quite a good case study for certain political reasons to do with the fact that prior to that time they'd been following a certain course of action which was consistent with the Swedish. Um, a response to the pandemic and uh, as a result presumably of, it might have just been one meeting with Niall Ferguson Imperial College and the Cobra team they did a U-turn and they decided to go for total lockdown and perhaps uh, under some subtle pressures from uh, other European countries it must have been extremely difficult uh, not to in a way when everybody else was but anyway 
that was the uh, critical moment. Uh, professional advisers were giving the Prime Minister uh, some extremely high level advice of the kind he probably never got before in his life. And I guess, you know, being a, a fellow professional myself, if someone put me in that situation, I'd um and ah, shuffle my papers and try and give as vague and uh, watery answer as I possibly could. But at some point in the meeting, he presumably let across the table to Mr. Ferguson and said, look, just how lethal is it? What are we talking? And um, so they gave the figures, uh, 500,000 if you do nothing, 250,000 if some measures are put in place, and 20,000 if no measures are put in place. Now that's a pretty, you know, um, serious moment actually. And I think you can, uh, I think the UK is a good case study for European countries. Um, it's, you know, experienced similar things, but not quite as severe yet, perhaps, as um, Southern Europe. Uh, and I think it's also just better to derive the, uh, the general from the particular in this case rather than try and look at some sort of global analysis which would just be too much to, you know, it, it, it would be uh, too much to bite off. I, I thought for, for a while about what was the best question because, uh, you know, it's a question that you ask a professional advisor that you want some advice on. And I think probably the right question here is, you know, in layman's terms, how lethal is it? We're talking twice, ten times, and I know you can't give me a, you know, a, you're going to want to qualify your answer, but just tell me, if you can, how lethal is it? And I think it's also worth putting it into something of a, a loyally specific frame, which is to say, is the virus so lethal that it justifies extreme emergency measures that are going to trigger an indefinite suspension of civil liberties and potentially long-term serious long-term economic impacts and you know perhaps even uh, longer-term health uh, problems so i think that's the that's a good question that i will be going on to consider is uh, this virus so lethal that it justifies extreme emergency measures that are going to trigger the indefinite suspension that there was no sunset clause when this was passed through Parliament. They, uh, one in particularly stout individual ar argued for it, but there's no sunset clause on this and likely to potentially cause unknown economic, serious economic impacts on the country. Everybody is wearing masks. Yes, yes. And we must be wearing masks. Huh? Everyone has to be locked in at home. Yes, everyone was very scared. Is very scary about this coronavirus because uh, they sitting at the home and watching TV and TV uh, all the day. TV says uh, and everything about coronavirus, nothing else. Yeah, yeah. It's like a virus. Yes, virus, but in head, nothing <laughs> in the air.